please, Mr. Dodgson, just once more. Yes, please tell us that story again. Yes, do. That's all till next time. Ah, but it is next time. That's enough till we've landed and had our tea. Steer over there, please, Miss Alice. There's our picnic spot. Oh, lovely. Come on, Duckworth. <gasps> Look at all those daisies. Oh. They're lovely. Oh. Yes. Oh, it'll make it easy to. I remember so well that golden afternoon when I first told the story of Alice's adventures underground. It was a beautiful midsummer day in early July. My friend Duckworth and I had, as usual, taken the three little sisters, Lorena, Alice and Edith, out on a river picnic. Oh. Alice was beginning to get very tired of sitting by her sister on the bank and of having nothing to do. So she was considering in her own mind, as well as she could, for the hot day made her feel very sleepy and stupid, whether the pleasure of making a daisy chain would be worth the trouble of getting up and picking the daisies. When suddenly a white rabbit with pink eyes ran close by her. Why is everything so enormous? What can have happened? Such a large rabbit hole. I'll just take a look inside. I think. <laughs> but I shall have to ask them what the name of the country is. Please, Mom, is this New Zealand or Australia? No, no, I mustn't ask. Perhaps I shall see it written up somewhere. Ah, this looks interesting. Maybe something on here will tell me. 
Only tea things and marmalade. I wish my cat Dinah was down here with me. Dinah, my dear, there are no mice in the air, I'm afraid. But you might catch a bat, and that's very like a mouse. But do cats eat bats, I wonder? It's getting. How do I get out there? Oh, even if my head did go through, it would be of little use without my shoulders. Where did that come from? It certainly wasn't here before. No, I'll look first and see whether it's marked poison or not. There's no use in crying like that. I advise you to leave off this minute. Hmm. Well, I'll eat it. And if it makes me grow larger, I can reach the key. If it makes me grow smaller, I can creep under the door. So either way, I'll get into the garden. And I don't care which happens. Which way? Which way? be ashamed of yourself. Great girl like you to go on crying in this way. Stop this moment, I tell you.
The Duchess is waiting. I mustn't be late. She will be mad if she has to wait. I'll zoom like a rocket as fast as I can. Now that I have my gloves and my fan. If you please, sir. What? left his fan and gloves behind. Everything is queer today. And only yesterday things went on as usual. But today is turning into the most curious adventure I have ever had. Curiouser and curiouser I find I grew curiouser But each time I ask a question Why? There's no reply Some days are gloriouser And gloriouser They can't be more gloriouser But soon Grown small again. Oh! Oh, that was a narrow escape. Now for the garden. Uh, oh, I've forgotten the key again. I never was as small as this before, never. It's too bad. Things are worse than ever now. I wish I hadn't cried so much. I should be punished for it now, I suppose, by being drowned in my own tears. That will be a queer thing. However, everything is queer today. Oh, Mouse, do you know the way out of this pool? I'm getting very tired of swimming about here. Perhaps it doesn't quite understand English. It must be a French mouse. Uh, oui, ma chat. Oh, I beg your pardon. I quite forgot. You don't like cats. Not like cats. Would you like cats if you were me? Well, perhaps not. Are you, uh, Are you fond of, of dogs? Please, don't talk to me about cats or dogs. Young lady, you seem to have an unfortunate habit of saying and doing the wrong thing at the wrong time. Take this for instance. You've cried so much, you've made a big pool of tears. And now, I'm most uncomfortable and very wet. Well, really, that's no way to carry on. Tears are very precious. And not to be spread about. You silly girl. You know you can't go through life forever crying. <laughs> You're right, of course. Oh, dear. I do wish I hadn't cried at all. You should do things in moderation. Now, let us get to the shore, out of all this, and I'll tell you why. All right. 
right. Where's this door? Come on. This is the way. Come on. Come on. Gather round, everyone. And listen to me. I'm going to show you all how to get rough. And as for you, young lady, as I said to you before, You've cried too much already. The shedding of tears should wet your cheek, not soak you through and through. And cakes are things you put away when you've had one or two. Too much of anything can only do you harm. So may I give you this advice straight from the palm. You've got to know when to stop, you know. Put on the brakes and take it slow. It's worth a sweet feeling again. You've got to know when. We all like to laugh and joke about and play those silly games Where everyone pokes out their tongues and calls each other names But keep on making faces and you'd best be aware For in the morning you might find that they're still there You gotta know when to stop, you know Pull on the brakes and take it slow It's worth a sweet feeling again You gotta know when I don't know when. Stop! The lesson's over. You're all dry. No, what about the prizes? Oh, that's right, of course. Everybody must have prizes. But who's to give the prizes? Why, she, of course. Oh, oh, that's a big one. Oh, oh, prizes, prizes, prizes. I want the big one. My turn. Just a minute, Mr. Dodo. She must have a prize too, you know. Of course. What else have you got in your pocket? Only a thimble. Oh, hand it over here then. We beg you to accept. This elegant thimble. You promised to tell me why it is you hate cats and dogs. Mine is a long and sad tale. It is a long tale, certainly, but why do you call it sad? Fury said to a mouse that he met in the house. Let us both go to law. I will prosecute you. Come, I'll take no denial. We must have a trial. For really, this morning, I've nothing to do. <laughs> said the mouse to them. You are not attending. What are you thinking of? I beg your pardon. You'd got to the fifth bend, I think. There. I had not. A not? Oh, do let me help to undo it. <laughs> I shall do nothing of the sort. You insult me by talking such Oh, nonsense. I didn't mean <laughs> it. They're so easily offended. Please come back. Come on, Sergio. Please come back. What a pity it couldn't stay. I wish I had our Dinah here. She'd soon fetch it back. Who's Dinah? Dinah's our cat. Oh, yeah. She's such a capital one for catching mice. Oh. I wish you could see her after the birds. Oh. Why, she I wish I hadn't mentioned Dinah. Nobody seems to like her down here. And I'm sure she's the best cat in the world. Oh, the Duchess, the Duchess. Oh, my dear paws. Oh, my fur and whiskers. She will have me executed as sure as ferrets are ferrets. Where can I have brought them, I wonder? He's looking for his gloves and fan. I remember seeing them when I was in that great hall. With the table and the little door into the garden. Though where they've all vanished to, I simply don't know. Why, 
Why, Mary Ann, what are you doing out here? Run home this moment and fetch me a pair of gloves and a fan. But I'm not Mary Ann. <laughs> I'm right all the time, so just refrain. Disobedience and its ingredients I just will not entertain. Don't answer me back and we'll be fine. The last word is mine. So go on, do as you're told, Mary, at once. I can't be Mary, cause Mary is dumpy. Why, Mary? Mary's got freckles and sings like a cat. I'm not Mary. Don't be stupid, of course you are. If I say you're Mary, then you're Mary. You won't make me budge. My word is law. Time's diminishing, we must be finishing. You are a pest and a bore. Be off with you, child. Go sulk and pine. The last word is mine. So go and fetch my gloves and fan, Mabel, at once. I can't be Mabel, cause Mabel is skinny, she looks like a bean. Mabel is stingy, she's ever so mean. I'm not Mabel. If I say you're Mabel, then you are Mabel. You won't ever learn that I am right. You're unteachable, your brain's unreachable. In fact, you're not very bright. I'll tell you once more, then I'll resign. The last word is mine. Quick now. his housemaid. How surprised he'll be when he finds out who I am. But I'd better take him his gloves and fan. That is, if I can find them. This must be the white rabbit's house. I'll just go in and see. Yes, it is. W rabbit. Hmm. It's rather unusual for a rabbit to live in a house. How queer it seems to be running messages for a rabbit. Something interesting is sure to happen whenever I eat or drink anything. So I'll just see what this bottle does. I do hope it'll make me large again. I'm quite tired of being such a tiny little thing. But really, there isn't much room to grow anymore in here. <laughs> Goodness, that's quite enough. I hope I shan't grow any more. As it is, I can't get out of the door so I can do no more whatever happens. Mary Ann, Mary Ann, fetch me my gloves this instant. <laughs> 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 
Then I'll go round and get in at the window. That you won't. Your Honor. Come on, come, come. What are you up to? Now tell me, Pat, what is that in the window? Sure, it is an arm, Your Honor. An arm, you goose? Who ever saw an arm as big as that? Why, it fills the whole window. Sure it does, Your Honor, but it is an arm for all that. Well, it has no business in there. Go and take it away. Sure, I don't like it, Your Honor, at all, at all. Do as I tell you, you coward. Look out, oh, Your Honor! Oh, oh Your Honor! Oh, You've got to do it again! Me... You've destroyed me, cucumber! Oh, darn! Lift dear, it! Dear! Take it! Ah. I wonder what they'll do next. Pull yourself together. We've got to have a plan of action. They're up to something. Where's the lad? <gasps> Bill yes, Lid, come here! Oh! Come here! Fetch it here, lad! That's the spirit! Oh, look at that arm! Put it up against this corner, then! No, tie it up first. Tie it up. Oh, up right, the right. up. Go on, then. Will the roof hold him, Your Honor? Mind that loose slate. Here it comes. Head to oh. Who did that? Yeah, it was Bill up in the roof, I fancy, Your Honor. Bill, you must go down the chimney. Now, son, you but, do it, me. Oh, oh, that's what I want you in. Bill must go down. Oh, no. Down the chimney. Bill, the master said you oh, have to oh. go down the chimney. Bill must do it. Oh. oh, so Bill's got to come down the chimney, has he? Well, we'll see. I don't think you can let Bill go down I think there, I can kick a little. This is Bill. Oh! There goes Bill, flying with tremendous skill. He's had an acid shock, no doubt. Oh, hurry, get that brandy out. Hold up his head. Give him some brandy. Don't choke him. Who was it, me old fellow? So that's Bill. What happened to you? Tell us all about it. Well, I hardly know. Oh, oh thanks, I'm better now. But I'm a deal too flustered to, to tell. All I know is, everything's as nice as pie. Suddenly, I'm in the sky. It's nice to be back here on land. But what's me tail doing in me hand? Ah, oh, never mind me, old fella. Oh. We'll have to burn the house down. If you do, I'll set diner on you. Pat! A barrel full of pebbles will do to begin with. Go on, I'll take you in, sir. Go on, I'll push you in. Oh, 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 I'll put a stop to this. Give me some more. Give some more. This is. Another shot. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. See, see what I did? I think that's got rid of us, sir. I first of all, I think she's got her. She's scared to come out. That one must have hit her, though. I must have hit her. You are not in charge yet. I'm in charge. This is my house. It's my room. If I eat one, it's sure to make some change in my size. As it can't possibly make me larger, it must make me smaller, I suppose. Oh. Now, 
Now the next thing is to find my way into that lovely garden. Yes, I think that'll be the best plan. In the meantime, I think I'll try and sing How Doth the Little Busy Bee, if I can remember the words. Those were not the right words. It's quite obvious I've changed. I'm not the same person as I was yesterday. Then who are you? I repeat, who are you? Uh, I hardly know, sir, just at present. What do you mean by that? Explain yourself. I can't explain myself, I'm afraid, sir, because I'm not myself, you see. I don't see. I can't put it more clearly, for I can't understand it myself. And being so many sizes in a day is very confusing. It isn't. Well, perhaps you haven't found it so yet. But when you have to turn into a chrysalis, you will someday, you know and then after that into a butterfly. I should think you'll feel it a little queer, won't you? Not a bit. It would feel very queer to me. <laughs> who are you? I think you ought to tell me who you are first. Why? Come back. I have something important to say. Keep your temper. Is that all? No. So you think you're changed, do you? I'm afraid I am, sir. I can't remember things as I used to. What kind of thing? Well, I've tried to sing How Doth the Little Busy Bee, but it all came out different. It was wrong from beginning to end. What size do you want to be? Well, I'd like to be a little larger, sir, if you don't mind. Three inches is such a wretched height to be. It's a very good height indeed. But I'm not used to it. You'll get used to it in time. One side will make you grow taller. The other side will make you grow shorter. One side of what? <coughs> the other side of what? Of the mushroom. Strange. I wonder where it could have gone. Now, which is which? the next. 
to do is to get into that beautiful garden. But how is that to be done? I wonder. same house. But I'll just call and say, how do you do? And ask them the way out of the wood. They've each got Tweedle on the back of the collar. If you think we're waxworks, you ought to pay, you know. Waxworks weren't made to be looked at for nothing, no how. Contrariwise, if you think we're alive, you ought to speak. I'm sure I'm very sorry. I know what you're thinking, but it isn't so, no how. Contrariwise, if it was so, it might be. But as it isn't, it, it ain't. ain't. I was thinking, which is the best way out of this wood? It's getting so dark. Would you tell me, please? First boy. No how. Next boy? Contrariwise, you've begun wrong. The first thing in a visit is to say, how do you do, and shake hands. <laughs> Not much tired. No, how? So much obliged. Now, would you please tell me which way leads out of the wood? For really, it's coming on very dark. Do you think it's going to rain? No, at least not under here. No, how? But it may rain outside. It may, if it chooses. We've no objection, contrarywise. Selfish things. Do you see that? <gasps> it's only a rattle. Oh, it's old and broken. It's spoilt, of course. You needn't be so angry about it. But it's new, I tell you. I bought it yesterday. My nice new rattle! Of course, you agree to have a battle. I suppose so. <gasps> only she must help us to dress up, you know. Underneath my helmet? <laughs> well, yes, a little. I'm very brave, generally, only today I happen to have a headache. <laughs> and I've got the toothache. I'm far worse than you. Well, then you'd better not fight today. Oh, we must have a bit of a battle. What's the time now? Half past four. Let's fight till six and then have dinner. And all about a rattle. I wouldn't have minded so much if it hadn't been a new one. Stand aside. And let's begin. Tweedle. Agree to have a battle for Tweedle Dum. Said Tweedle Dee had spoiled his nice new rattle. Yeah. 
what a thick black cloud it is. It's getting as dark as it can be! A dark Just then flew down a monstrous crow As black as a tobaro Which frightened both the heroes so They quite forgot their quarrel I wish that crow hadn't flapped its wings so. It made quite a hurricane in the wood. Now, who is that? And whoever lives here, I wonder. For the Duchess, an invitation from the Queen to play croquet. From the Queen, an invitation for the Duchess to play croquet. knocking and that for two reasons first because I'm on the same side of the door as you are secondly because they're making so much noise inside no one could possibly hear you well please then how am I to get in I shall sit here until tomorrow or next day maybe how am I to get in are you to get in at all? That's the first question, you know. It's really dreadful the way all the creatures argue. It's enough to drive one crazy. I shall sit here on and off for days and days and days. But what am I to do? Anything you like. Oh, there's no <sighs> use in talking to him. He's perfectly idiotic. <laughs> Too much pepper in that soup. Please, would you tell me why your cat grins from ear to ear like that? It's a Cheshire cat, and that's why. Pig! Well, I didn't know that Cheshire cats always grinned. In fact, I didn't know that cats could grin. They all can, and most of them do. I don't know of any that do. You don't know much, and that's a fact. Oh, 
own business, the world will go round a good deal faster than it does. Which would not be an advantage. <laughs> Just think what work it would make with the day and night. You see, the Earth takes 24 hours to turn round on its axis. <laughs> Talking of axes, chop of a head. 24 hours, I think, or is it 12? Don't bother me. I never could abide figures. Speak roughly to your little boy and beat him when he sneezes. He only does it to annoy because he knows it eases. Well, well, well. I speak severely to my boy and beat him when he sneezes. For he can thoroughly enjoy the pepper when he sneezes. Here, you may nurse it for a bit if you like. I want to go and get ready to play croquet with the Queen. <coughs> if I don't take this child away, they'll kill it in a day or so. <coughs> Wouldn't it be murder to leave it behind? Don't grunt. That's not at all a proper way of expressing yourself. I do believe your little nose is very turned up. More like a snout than a real nose. And your eyes are extremely small for a baby. And no tears either, even though you're sobbing. If you're going to turn into a pig, my dear, I'll have nothing more to do with you. Mind now. What am I going to do with this creature when I get it home? It's more like a pig than a baby. Oh my, will it sleep in a cot or sleep in a stand? There's no mistake, it is a pig. This is quite absurd. grown up, it would have made a dreadfully ugly child. But it makes rather a handsome pig, I think. I suppose it doesn't mind. No room, no room. No room at all. Well, there's plenty of room. Have some wine. I don't see any wine. There isn't any. <laughs> Then it wasn't very civil of you to offer it. It wasn't very civil of you to sit down without being invited. I didn't know it was your table. It's laid for a great many more than three. Your hair wants cutting. You should learn not to make personal remarks. It's very rude. What's the difference between a raven and a writing desk? Oh, I'm glad you've begun asking riddles. I believe I can guess that one. Do you mean you think you can find the answer to it? Exactly so. Then why don't you say what you mean? I do. Uh, at least I mean what I say. <laughs> That's the same thing, you know. It's not the same thing a bit. Why, you might just as well say, I see what I eat is the same as I eat what I see. I see what I eat, I mean I eat what I see. Why is everyone confusing me? You might just as well say that I breathe when I sleep is the same thing as I sleep when I breathe. It is the same with you. Same place! <laughs> What day of the month is it? Uh, the fourth. Two days wrong. I told you butter wouldn't suit the work. It was the best butter. <laughs> the dormouse is asleep again. Yeah. Oh, well, quite of course, of course, that's what I was going to say myself. It was the best butter. Have you guessed the riddle?
good yet. No, I give up. Miracle. What's the answer? I haven't the slightest idea. Nor I. Well, I think you ought to do something better with the time than wasting it. If you knew as much about time as I do, you wouldn't talk about wasting it. You only have to whisper a hint to time, and round goes the clock in a twinkling, half past one, time for dinner. Oh, I wish it was. Is that the way you manage? Not I. We quarreled last March. <laughs> Just before he went mad, you know. It was at the great concert given by the Queen of Hearts, and I had to sing. Twinkle, twinkle, little bat, how I wonder what you're at. You know the song, perhaps? I've heard something like it. It goes on, you know, in this way. Up above the world you fly, like a tea tray in the sky. Twinkle, twinkle, oh, twinkle, 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 well, I'd hardly finished the first verse when the Queen bawled out, He's murdering the time! Off with his head! Dreadfully savage. And ever since then, he won't do a thing I ask. It's always six o'clock. Oh, is that the reason all the tea things are laid out here? Yes, that's it. It's always tea time. And we've no time to wash things between while. Exactly so. As the things get used up. But what happens when you come back to the beginning again? Suppose we change the subject. Take some more tea. Well, I've had nothing yet, so I can't take more. You mean you can't take less? It's very easy to take more than nothing. Nobody asked your opinion. Ooh, who's making personal remarks now? But I would like a bun, please. Ah. Oh. <laughs> we don't have any buns, but we do have some puns. <laughs> puns? Have a pun. <laughs> what fun? A riddle or a pun can provide a feast of fun. The worse they are, the best they are. It's hard to find a rotten one. But once you find that jewel, the feelings beautiful. These are the kind that we all find quite irresistible. <laughs> I've got one. Mm. Who walks like this? I haven't the faintest idea, do tell me. Who walks like that? <laughs> I do. No! Oh! <laughs> <laughs> That's awful. Oh, but that's absurd. It's as bad as anything I've ever heard. It's madness. It's insane. But not half as dark as this one that I managed to obtain. Now then, where was the Magna Carta signed? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> where was the Magna Carta signed? <laughs> it was signed at the bottom. <laughs> <laughs> what ripple, what a blow. You have proved my brain my stooping quite so low. What stupid revelry. But it's not as bad as this one that a cuckoo told to me. <laughs> How do you find out the weight of a whale? I don't know. How do you find out the weight of a whale? Take him to the nearest railway station. <laughs> <laughs> Pure people. What a shock. What? Your distorted mind is full of poppycock. It's nonsense. Every word. Yet it can't compare to this one that I must have overheard. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
Which king of England wore the largest shoe? Oh, I'd love to know. Which king of England did wear the largest shoe? <laughs> the one with the largest feet. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, rubbish. You are sick. You remind us of a loony lunatic. You're merely a buffoon. If you carry on like this, you'll be as mad as us quite soon. Now then, what did the father ghost to say to his son? Oh, I don't know. Uh, what did the father ghost say to his son? Spook only when you are spoken to. <laughs> <laughs> if it's sunny or it's rainy, if you're dumb or if you're brainy, you can sing the same fun song. <laughs> Wake up, Dormouse. Yeah, I wasn't asleep. I heard every word you fellows were saying. Tell us a story. Yes, please do. Yes, and be quick about it or you'll be asleep again before it's done. Well. Once upon a time, there were three little sisters, and they lived at the bottom of a well. But what did they live on? Uh, they lived on, um, uh, what? Treacle. What, what? Treacle, treacle. Oh, yeah, uh, they lived on treacle. Ah, oh, but they couldn't have done that, you know. They'd have been ill. So they were, very ill. Oh, but why did they live at the bottom of a well? That, um, <laughs> it was a treacle well. Yeah. Treacle, treacle well. Treacle well. Oh, it was a treacle well. There's no such thing. Shh. <coughs> Look, if you can't be civil, you better finish the story for yourself. No, please go on. I won't interrupt you again. I want a clean cup. Let's move one place on. <laughs> And your story of the three little sisters. Did they really draw treacle out of a well? You can draw water out of a water well, so I should think you could draw treacle out of a treacle well, eh, stupid? But they were in the well. Of course they were. Well in. Yeah. And, uh, uh, you, you know you say things are much of a muchness. Well, did you ever see such a thing as a drawing of a muchness? Well, really, now that you ask me, I don't think I have. Then you shouldn't talk. Hmm. Now I'll manage better this time. I'll eat a piece of mushroom and that should make them grow smaller. Seven, jog my elbow. Yeah, that's right, five. Always lay the blame on others. You'd better not talk. I heard the Queen say only yesterday you deserve to be beheaded. 
What for? That's none of your business, too. Yes, it is his business, and I'll tell him it was for giving the cook tulip roots instead of onions. Well, <laughs> well of all the unjust things. <laughs> Would you tell me, please, why you're painting those roses? Well, the fact is, you see, this, this year ought to have been a red rose tree, you see. And we put a white one in by mistake. And if the Queen was to find out, we should all have our heads cut off, you know. So, we was trying, before the Queen comes, just to make this... The Queen, the Queen! <laughs> What's your name, child? Uh, my name is Alice, so please, Your Majesty. <laughs> Why, they're only a pack of cards after all. I needn't be afraid of them. And who are these? How should I know? It's no business of mine. Off with her head, off with her head, get a hatchet, and just attach it. We'll be much better off with her dead. <laughs> Nonsense. Oh. <gasps> but consider, my dear, she's only a child. Oh. Turn them over. Get up! Leave off that, you make me giddy. What have you been doing here? If it would please your majesty, we've been trying to... I see. Off with their heads, off with their heads. Separate them, abbreviate them, and I'll trust you to pick up the shreds. Don't worry, you shan't be beheaded. <laughs> Are their heads off? Well, the heads are gone, if you please, Your Majesty. That's fine. Do you play croquet? Oh, yes. Come on, then. <laughs> Rather a nice day, isn't it? Yes, very. Oh, where's the Duchess? Shoo, 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 shoo. The Duchess is under sentence of execution. What for? She boxed the Queen's ears. Ah! <laughs> the Queen will hear you. You see, she arrived rather late, and the Queen said... Take oh, your places!
Getting on. There's no use in speaking to it till its ears have come. Or at least one of them. Did you enjoy the croquet game? Well, they certainly don't play croquet the way I remember it played. How do you like the Queen? Not at all. She's so extremely <laughs> likely to win that it's hardly worthwhile finishing the game. Who are you talking to? It's a friend of mine, a Cheshire cat. Allow me to introduce him. I don't like the look of it at all. However, he may kiss my hand if he likes. I'd rather not. Don't be impertinent. And don't look at me like that. A cat may look at a king. Well, it must be removed. Oh, my dear, uh, would you see that that cat is removed? Off with his head, off with his head. Mutilate it, decapitate it, and there'll be one less mouth to be fed. Executioner. Off with his head. I can't cut its head off unless there's a body to cut it off from. Nonsense. Anything that's got a head can be beheaded. So stop talking nonsense. If it's not done immediately, everybody's head will be off. But it belongs to the Duchess. You'd better ask her. I'm glad I am to see you again, you dear old thing. When I'm a duchess, I won't have any pepper in my kitchen at all. Soup does very well without. Maybe it's always pepper that makes people hot-tempered. You're thinking about something, my dear, and that makes you forget to talk. I can't tell you just now what the model of that is, but I shall remember it in a bit. Perhaps it hasn't one. Tut, tut, child. Everything's got a model, if only you can find it. Uh, it's gone. It can't have disappeared. It was here a moment ago, sire. Huh? Is his head off? Its head's gone, if you please, Your Majesty. Good day, Your Majesty. Now I give you fair warning. Either you or your head must be off, and that in about half no time. Take your choice. Have you seen the mock turtle? I don't even know what a mock turtle is. It's a pink mock turtle story. <laughs> Up, lady, and take this young lady to see the mock turtle and to hear his history. I must go back and see after some executions I have ordered. <laughs> that he hasn't got no sorrow, you know. This here young lady wants for to know your history, she do. I'll tell her, but don't say a word till I'm finished. Oh. <laughs> I don't see how he can ever finish if he doesn't begin. Master was an old turtle. We used to call him Tortoise. 
Why did you call him Tortoise if he wasn't one? We called him Tortoise because he taught us. Really, you are very dull. You ought to be ashamed of yourself for asking such stupid questions. Harry, you're an old fellow. Well, don't take all day about it. Uh, yes, we went to school in the sea. Though you may not believe it. I never said I didn't. You did. Hold your tongue. We had the best of educations. We went to school every day. I've been to a day school too, you know. You needn't be so proud as all that. With extras? Yes, we learned French and music. And washing? Certainly not. Ah. <laughs> Yours wasn't a really good school. I can let you know. At ours, they always had at the end of the bill French, music, and washing. Extra. <laughs> you couldn't have wanted it much, living at the bottom of the sea. Hey, Mac, what is the of luck? I couldn't afford to learn it. <laughs> I only took the regular course. What was that? Well, reading and writing, to begin with, of course. And then the different branches of arithmetic. Ambition, distraction, uglification, and derision. And then, then there was mystery. Mystery, ancient and modern. Geography. Ah, oh, that's enough of uh, lessons. Uh, tell us something about games now. <laughs> oh, dear, oh, dear. <laughs> Sounds as though he's got a bone in his throat. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Carry on. You may not have lived under the sea. I haven't. And perhaps you have never been introduced to a lobster. I once tasted... What? No, never. Then you have no idea what a delightful thing a lobster quadrille is. No, indeed. What sort of dance is it? Well, first you fall into a line along the seashore. Oh. Two lines! Biggity-boo! <laughs> Those seals, Biggity. salmon, turtles, and so on. And then when you cleared all the jellyfish out of the way... It only takes time. <laughs> you advance twice. Each for the lobster of the partner. <laughs> the four, advance, five, ten, the part. Kings, partners, return in same order. Oh. And you know, you, you throw the lobsters out to sea as well as you can. Swim after them. Turn the somersault in the sea. Back to land again! Pretty dance. Do you want to see some more of it? Oh, very much indeed. Oh. Well, come on then. We can do it without lobsters. Yes, yes. You know. Ready? One, two, six. Now. Now. Mm -hmm. Will you walk a little faster? Said a whiting to a snail. Good. There's a porpoise close behind us, and he's treading on my tail. See how eagerly the lobsters and the turtles all advance. They are waiting on the shingle. Will you come and join the dance? Will, will you? Won't you? Will you? Won't you? Will you join the dance? Will you? Won't you? Will you? Won't you? Won't you join the dance? it will be when they take us up and throw us with the lobsters out to sea 
But the snail replied too far, too far, and gave a look askance. So he thanked the waiting kindly, but he would not join the dance. Would not, could not, would not, could not, would not join the dance. Would not, could not, would not, could not, would not join the dance. Find the shell. Find the shell. What matters not yet, it? Not yet. Now. What, what matters, matters it how far we go, go his scaly friend replied. There is another shore, you know, upon the other side. For the further off from England, the nearer is to France. Then turn not pale, beloved snail, but come and join the dance. Will you, won't you, will you, won't you, will you join the dance? Will you, won't you, will you, won't you, won't you join the dance? Thank you, that was very interesting. Shall we have another figure? Or would you rather hear the Mock Turtle sing another chorus? Oh, another song, please, if the Mock Turtle would be so kind. Yeah. Soap, soap. Ah! Soap, There's no one coming for people's soap, taste. Baby. Well, I've certainly met some strange creatures on these adventures. In fact, I've never met so many in all my life. The trial's beginning, the trial's beginning. It's beginning. Quickly, quickly, the trial's beginning. The trial's beginning. What trial is it? The neighbor. There. And there. Silence in court. Herald, read the accusation. The Queen of Hearts, she made some tarts all on a summer's day. The neighbor party stole those tarts and took them quite away. Consider your verdict. No, not yet, not yet, Your Majesty. The first witness. Oh, yes, 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 yes. yes. Uh, uh, call the first witness. That's me. First witness. I beg your pardon, Your Majesty, for bringing these in, but I hadn't quite finished my tea when I was sent for. You ought to have finished. When did you begin? The 14th of March, uh, I think it was. No, it was the 15th. It's the 16th. No, 15th. Write that down. Six, no, 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 no. no. Silence in court. Take off your hat. It isn't mine. Stolen. I keep them to sell. I'm a hatter. Give your evidence. And don't be nervous, or I'll have you executed on the spot. <laughs> Goodness, what a curious sensation. I seem to have grown larger again. I wish you wouldn't scrape so I can hardly breathe. I can't help it. I'm growing. You can't grow hair. Don't be stupid. You're growing too. Yes, but I'll grow at a reasonable pace. Not in that ridiculous fashion. Look, how on. Yeah. Silence! Give me a list of the singers at the last concert. Give your evidence, or I'll have you executed, whether you're nervous or not. Yeah. I'm a poor man, Your Majesty, and, and what with the bread and butter getting so thin, and the twinkling of the tea... Twinkling of the what? It began with the tea. Well, of course twinkling begins with a tea. Do you take me for a dunce? Go on. I'm a poor man, Your Majesty, and most things twinkled after that, only the March Hare said... I didn't... I deny it. He denies it. Leave out that part. Leave it out the same. Well, at any rate.
At any rate, the Dormouse said, then after that I cut some more bread and butter. But, but what, what did the Dormouse say? I can't remember. Oh, I oh, yeah, 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 yeah. must remember. I'll have you executed. I'm a poor man, Your Majesty. <laughs> You're a very poor speaker. <laughs> Well, that finishes the guinea pigs. Now we shall get on better. Silence in court! Silence! Goodness, this is too much. I must stop all this growing. I'm much too large now. I suppose I shall just have to stay this size. Silence in court. If that's all the evidence you can give, you may stand down. I can't go no lower. I'm on the floor as it is. Then you may sit down. I'd rather go and finish my tea. Oh. You may go. Just take his head off outside. <laughs> Oh, next witness. What's this? That stupid, stupid trumpet. The Duchess is cook. Give your evidence. Shout. Your Majesty must cross-examine this witness. Well, I must. What are tarts made of? Pepper, pepper, pepper. Some white to give you a fright. Some brown to start the tears rolling down. Some red to make you wish you were dead. And take help! Uh, 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 Draco. Collar that dog. Oh. Hit that dog. Pinch him! Oh! Ah, pay time! My dear, you must cross-examine the next one. It quite makes my forehead ache. Your Majesty. They haven't got much evidence yet. Unimportant, I meant, uh, yes, yes, of course, I did, yes. Uh, important. No, 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 no. Oh, oh, silence. Oh, silence. Rule 42, all persons more than a mile high to leave the court. I'm not a mile high. Oh, yes, you are. Nearly two miles high. Well, I shan't go. Besides, that's not a regular rule. You invented it just now. It's the oldest rule in the book. Then it ought to be number one. Uh, but... no. Oh, no. Consider your verdict. Oh, yes, yes. That's your oh, verdict. Oh, there's more evidence to come yet, if it please, Your Majesty. This paper has just been picked up. Oh, 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 it? it seems to be 
a letter written by the prisoner to somebody. Unless it was written to nobody, which isn't usual. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 it isn't a letter at all. It's a song. Your Majesty, I didn't compose it, and they can't prove I did. <laughs> There's no name on it. You must have meant some mischief, or else you'd have put your name on it like an honest man. <laughs> that proves his guilt, of course. So, off with his... It doesn't prove anything of the sort. Why, you don't even know what the song's about. Sing it. If it please your majesty, where shall I begin? Begin at the beginning. Yes. Go on till you come to the end. Yes. And then stop. Yes. yes. <laughs> they told me you had been to her and mentioned me to him. She gave me a good character but said I could not swim. He sent them word I had not gone, we know it to be true. If she should push the matter on, what would become of you? I gave her one, they gave him two, you gave us three or more. They all returned from him to you, though they were mine before. If I or she should chance to be involved in this affair, he trusts to you to set them free exactly as we were. My notion was that you had been before she had this fit. An obstacle that came between him and ourselves and it. Don't let them know she liked them best, for this must ever be. A secret kept from all the rest between yourself and me. Ah, this is the most important piece of evidence we have had yet. It doesn't mean anything. Let the jury consider its verdict. No, no. Sentence first, verdict afterwards. Stuff and nonsense. You can't have the sentence first. Hold your tongue. I won't. Off with her head. 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 Must have been a curious dream, certainly, Miss Alice. But come now, it's time for us to go. It's getting late. Uh... 